Greetings this morning to Notes for the Morning. As you know, having listened to the last two devotions, we're involved in my New Year's resolution. This will be part three. And we used as our last text for the second devotion concerning this subject, Matthew 22 and 37, where we talked about how we can know our spiritual health by our attitude toward Christ, by our view of Christ. What kind of fruit do we have on our branches? Do we have the works of the flesh or do we have the spirit or the fruit of the spirit? Now in verse 39, it reads, and the second is likened to it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and all the prophets. Now it's very important for us to understand what Jesus is saying there about our neighbor, or if you please, to interpret it as our brother and sister in Christ. We need to evaluate our action toward our brother in Christ. Remember now, we are checking our spiritual health. We're coming to resolve a resolve in 2024 of how we're going to change our life. This is in the spiritual. So to do that, we are now talking about the fourth thing, and that is by our action towards our brother in Christ. John writes in 1 John chapter 3, in verse 14, we need to know that we have passed from death into life because we love the brethren. He that abideth in death, he that loveth not his brother, abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before God. What we need to know as children of God, looking and facing 2024 and checking our spiritual health, how do we view our brother and sister in Christ? What kind of attitude do we have? What are our actions toward our brother and sister in Christ. He made this statement in verse 18, and I'll read it again. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue. Don't let us just talk about it, but in deed and in truth. That is, prove it by your action. Do it as God said, do it. There is another great illustration concerning our subject this morning. In checking our spiritual health, in knowing how we view our brother and sister in Christ, by our attitude and our action, are we just saying it? Are we just using our tongue to produce the words? Are we really serving our brother and sister in deed and in truth? There's a great illustration of what we are to do toward our brother and sister, and we can check our spiritual health by this attitude. And it's found in Luke 10 and verse 30. And Jesus answering said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence, 
and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said unto him, Go and do thou likewise. So, as we evaluate this illustration of the Samaritan, you have to get uh, understand some part of the story. We're talking about a Samaritan who was considered by the Jews as a half-breed, and they had nothing to do with the Samaritan. And so the Samaritan, though, is showing us the correct attitude. Here is one that he knows does not like him, even hates him maybe. He's over in a ditch, and he's in trouble. But the Bible relates the attitude is one of compassion. Now, what brings this to light and makes it so bright in my mind as a great illustration of checking our own spiritual health is you notice the men that came, saw the scene, and just passed by. We have the priest and we have the Levite. And both of those men were religious men. They were in the office of priest and of the tribe of Levi, from which the priests came. They were those that should have shown compassion on the man that was wounded on the side of the road. But they did not. They would not mess up their hands with it. They don't want anything to do with this man in the ditch. And so that's the attitude we do not want to have. We do not want to have the attitude of the religious priest and the Levite. We want to have the attitude of compassion on whomever, whenever, wherever that we can be a witness for Jesus Christ. And so in 2024, let us look inside of ourselves. Let us uh, analyze the attitude that we have toward others, whether they be like us or not, whether they be of the same nation. Same gender, what gender, whatever it is. Put away racism and look and see what you can do for the man in trouble. That is doing it as a deed and in truth. That's not talking about what you would do. It's about what you are doing. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for these few minutes to gather with the believers as we are looking at our New Year resolutions, especially in the spiritual sense. Lord God, we need you to help us. We need you to empower us. We need for you to illuminate us as we first examine in our heart how we feel, how we look at other races, how we look at other people that are not like us. Lord, if the opportunity presents itself, we must show Christ. And so I pray, God, that in 2024, that we will increase in this area, that we will become that witness that's pleasing to you, God, as we show love to our neighbor, as we are willing to lay down our lives for our brother and sister. And then we can assure our hearts that we are of truth. God help us today and every day forward to be revealing the love of God in our heart, in our life, and in our practice, in our deeds. Thank you, God, for this time together to study these few little remarks that were made by Jesus and illustrations that he gave us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.